Hi, and thanks for watching. This Frames Data video will show you how to get started with My Frame Gallery. Setup is broken down into four easy steps. Settings, Add Frames, Review Slash Edit, and Publish. In this video, I'm going to take you through step one, the settings page. Let's get started. First, you want to log in to Frames Data Online with your username and password, and then go to My Frame Gallery splash page. To do that, click on the My Frames Data button and select My Frame Gallery from the drop-down menu. You can also click on the banner that appears as soon as you log in. Once you get to the splash page, click on Manage My Gallery or Settings in the My Frame Gallery navigation bar. That will take you to the first step of the four-step process. At the top of the page, you will see Public URL. We will automatically generate a URL for your gallery based on the name of your company, and you can see that URL here. This is the web address where your gallery will reside. At this point, there's nothing at that address yet. It will be live only after you've saved your settings on this page. You are welcome to keep this URL as is, or you can change it to something you prefer. However, be aware that you can only change your URL once. After you change it that one time, it will be your permanent URL, so make sure it's something that you truly want and is, and is appropriate for your company. Also, once you've saved your settings, your URL choice will be your final web address, and the public URL option will not accept changes. Before we move on, here's a tip. Whenever you see the words, see more, like you see under update retail information, you'll be able to retrieve additional information about that particular section by clicking on see more. Now under the update retail information header, you'll review your store's address and contact information and update it if necessary. This information will display on your gallery and it should be the street address where your customers will come visit you. Your company's information will be populated from your subscription with frames data, so you won't need to type it all in. Any corrections you make in this section will only change what is displayed on your gallery page. It will not overwrite anything on your actual frames data subscription account. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for our part two video, which will go over uploading your logo, choosing colors, and more.